This is what they're doing ahead of the midterms. This is election meddling. Wow, Alex Jones, war. <laughs> Shit is getting real. Right? This is really topical. Uh, so what's the saying? The, the, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ah, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Alex Jones is our friend today, right? So, you know, Alex Jones, I'll just give you my, my experience with Alex Jones. I was following the Bernie Sanders campaign and um, <clears throat> down at the uh, RNC convention, the Young Turks had a little, a little powwow going on at the uh, RNC convention in 2016. And Alex Jones storms the TYT set and d just disrupts the whole thing and calls uh, one of the hosts, Annika Kasparian, the, the, the girl who is, uh, I think she's Armenian or something, a, a mother's Armenian or something. And he, he calls her a jihadist. <laughs> so I found some, I was watching some video this morning. I hope this video doesn't, this video doesn't get knocked down because I was watching this um I don't know what I was watching. I was watching something like I usually do. Right? I'm watching something and I see this clip come on Open Minds and it was Alex Jones out in the backyard, you know, talking to the camera. He did a kind of a budget flick and he covers <clears throat> some amazing stuff. So that's what I'm going to play today. I want you to I want, I got, I want you guys to uh, hear this. What he, what Alex Jones is telling you is 100 percent accurate. <clears throat> he is under siege not because of any violation of any stupid little rule, but because it's election meddling. It's, it's a power grab by the oligarchy. And he, he does a great job at explaining it. And I'll, I'll, I'll come back, I'll pop in here and there, but let's watch this together. It isn't about how popular I am. It's about the internet being taken over. And now there are articles on Infowars.com, you can read right now, where YouTubers with millions of subscribers are being told, do not say my name. I mean, my God, this is beyond communist China. And this is what big tech's doing. Apple and Google have moved to China in the last six months. And they've officially been state run. And now Facebook is trying to get in line. Jack Dorsey's acting like he's Mr. Free Speech all of a sudden. He's been shadow banning everybody, but I hope that's a term for the best. And then to watch CNN and MSNBC, anytime I turn it on, lobbying to have me depersoned, even off Twitter, so you can't even hear what I have to say, so they can say whatever damn lie they want about me and then misrepresent. That is a seriously, seriously dangerous situation. So this is what they're doing ahead of the midterms. This is election meddling. Pal, exactly, exactamundo. This is what they're doing ahead of the midterms. This is election meddling. That's what it, that's what they're doing. Like now, <clears throat> what 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 Jones is pointing out too is uh, is is very very important and very very um, very very astute because he's he's taking it from he's he's telling you that Apple, Google, and Facebook are giant corporations, oligarchies that are moving their shit to China, right? They're moving their operation to China. Why? Because because the United States is waking up. The populist right and left are are awake now and slowly but surely with you know with our efforts we're pushing the we're pushing it forward in in terms of that it is the oligarchy that they have too much power they they, they don't pay tax they're, they're 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 bleeding the country dry right people are starting to see it now the left guys like alex jones you know arguably people argue that he's more for himself right he's he's an opportunist he, he wants to be he wants to be the next Fox News. I don't care about that. That doesn't that doesn't change a damn thing about what he's saying, which is massive. You, you given you gave we gave away our our power to to a very a very select few. L let's just watch a little more because it's it's really he really really puts his finger on it. Watch this. And and this is the election meddling of big tech, just like they did for Hillary. And they were pissed when they lost because the populist movement defeated them. So now they say those of us that are pro-America and pro-freedom, they claim that we're Russian agents with no proof. So then you realize that Apple and Google have moved to China where they do all these horrible things, political dissidents, sell their organs, kill millions of people. And you don't see a damn word about it on CNN or MSNBC or even Fox anymore, do you? But this shows what's coming. They're going to try to plunge the economy in the next few months. They're going to try to start a civil war, violence, they've said it, and they don't want me on air reaching millions of people a day on YouTube and Facebook 
they don't want that. But the good news is our traffic is five times its record high. Searches for InfoWars are 30, 40 times what they were. Look it up. We are having millions a day sign up for the free newsletter or for our own podcast at InfoWars.com uh, forward slash show where it's direct from us so they can't block it. So, so he covered a lot right there. He says that, you know, China and, um, you know, China is a violations of human rights, uh, the human rights violations in China where they they uh, do a little bit of organ harvesting. I don't know if you guys are aware of what that what that's all about, but that's a uh, kind of what used to be seen in the third world, which is you go into the hospital like a guy who's, you know, got into a car accident instead of trying to save him. They let him die and steal his organs. And uh, <clears throat> throughout the world, organ, organ harvesting is uh, something that uh, it, it's confirmed. I mean, it's not it's not a theory, right? There's certain parts of like, if you wanted a, if a rich guy wants to buy a heart and there's there's a long line in the U.S., they fly him to another country and they go out into the into the woods and steal somebody's heart. You know, shit is crazy. This is the kind of shit that is now coming home to roost, right? Because these are the guys running it, right? These are the guys, you know, Google, Facebook, Apple. Right? It's it's oligarchy, right? It's 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 money grabbing, and you know, and Alex Jones said that they're gonna. The comeback is that they tarnish everybody as Russian Russian agents, right? What does Russia have to do with any of this? That that now they talk telling them how he's a Russian agent. That's where it's all going. He makes a prophecy, too, that the big false flag, the big move is coming. Um, I got to I got to agree with that. I think that I think he's I think this his his uh, his narrative here is 100 percent accurate. Let's finish it out and I'll come back for a final final. They just went after me. So it exposes the whole thing. They're going after thousands of people a day, even mainline liberals that are popular but aren't part of the system. They're shutting them down, too. This is authoritarian, man. I've been on air 24 years. All you left is think if you silence me at some victory. Jesus. Now, because you censored me, I'm launching offices in Europe, England, Asia, and other areas in the next six months. So and you've got these people with Facebook and Google and, and, and Apple and those others combined are over $3 trillion of assets against InfoWars, you know where we put almost everything back into the fight or a little bitty company, but defeating them. And it shows how pathetic it is that the New York Times, it's got today, it was even true, you never know with them, there's this liar, Zuckerberg, saying he met with Cook and decided to ban me because they're so moral. And, and, and then just and everybody else followed suit. Wow, talk about arrogance. I mean, they do not want us communicating with you. They don't want you communicating ahead of this election. They've gone from ignoring us and ridiculing us and which we always knew was a joke, just a tactic. Like Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We're now in the attack phase. So I'm just worried about everybody else having their website shut down, their, their YouTube shut down, just everything being discriminated against them, veterans groups, gun groups, Christian groups. All I know is it's here. The censorship's here, and they're planning something big. I'll close with this. They're planning something big ahead of the election three months from now. We're like two months and 28 days. They want me silenced. They want you silenced. The crackdown is now. And mainstream media is kind of using me as a smokescreen about me being censored as a diversion while you're being censored ahead of the big event. So what's going on? What are they planning? Civil unrest? You name it. So they made this guy into a martyr. Right? Now Alex Jones is a, is a hero. He's a martyr, right? This is this is it. Right? Congratulations. Now Alex Jones is, a, is our comrade, right? Comrade Alex. You go, Alex. You go, girl. So that's that's what's going on here today. I think that um, that this this uh, little clip it, it reveals a lot. It's it's telling you that he's now communicating to his audience and telling them that it's oligarchy. We were telling you this in 2016. See, here's where we differ. How does Alex Jones justify? Okay, so all the oligarchs got the, the corporations got so big that they're now they're navigating themselves offshore and taking their ball and going somewhere else because they can't they can't they're not going to get the military backing through NATO to do all this bullshit. Well, most of what they're doing is 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 illegal and borderline criminal, right? <laughs> so so they so they're now organizing. That was the idea behind the TPP, which was a globalist coming together of the oligarchs 
and it would have been it would have replaced the the uh, the Declaration of Independence. It would have uh, the the Bill of Rights. It would have the, the Constitution of the United States of America would have replaced it, uh, and they would have had they would have been a, a step above any U.S. law. And since they they are not gonna that's not gonna happen. That now they're now they're they're doing a, you know, trying to seize the media. We we are on the siege. I mean, we're definitely on the siege. You know, it, 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 it's 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 everybody's now a Russian agent, a Russian spy. I mean, they they they. I really really hope that Alex Jones can achieve what he's trying to do. Now I actually now I'm in support of Alex Jones's success. Right. So that he can continue to put out a, um, a an economic message. That's an economic message. Right? I cut the video a little bit. I did some editing because a lot of his rhetoric is is a little out there for me. But I took the parts of it that are economic in nature, and they're they're spot on. You know, so you know that's that's the fight right now. It is, it was, it is, and it and it will be the fight. Right, and again, I my my plea to Alex Jones and and his his audience is that is that it it's 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 oligarchy, right? And you're not going to correct the oligarchy. I think Alex Jones would agree with this assessment. You're not going to walk into Goldman Sachs and say, "Okay, guys, this is how we're going to do business. We're gonna we're gonna change some stuff around, and uh, we need you to do this, and we need you guys to do that, and." And uh, no, it doesn't work like that, right? You have you tax them, and you you just let them do their business, and you take the money, and that money is seed money throughout the United States, and and small businesses then uh, flourish, right? Right? There's no fixing it. There's no that's not that is the swamp, and the politics are swamp, and you're going to drain the swamp. But if you keep the system in place, you get just you get different creatures in the swamp. That's that's what happens. Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter on YouTube. Peace.